Hello everyone. This video, we are going to talk about read file data recovery. Read file is a hard drive array with minimum include three hard drives. It can be found in computer servers, NAS, QNAS. In order to fix read file related problems, we have to know what is read file. This video is going to use very simple diagram to illustrate the read file principle and introduce some quick fix solutions for read file. Read file does two things. One, distributes data in block to each drive. Two, creates parity data for every two data blocks. This picture shows the first thing read file does is to distribute data in block to each drive. The data blocks are A, B, C, D, E, F being distributed to each drive, drive 1, drive 2, drive 3. This picture shows the second thing read file does to create parity data for every two data blocks. The parity data on the diagram is P1, P2, P3. The formula read five use is P1 equal parity of A and B. P2 equals parity C and D. P3 equals parity E and F. This is the basic principle of read five. Is it simple? Yes, it is. But it is a very smart idea. Salute to the inventor of Read5, Mr. Clark. His invention has been used worldwide everywhere. The greatest advantage of Read5 is one of the drives failed, the array still works. All you have to do is to replace the bad drive with a good one. The new drive size should be same or bigger than the bad drive. Repair read file drives. If two read file drives failed, the array will not work. Then we have to repair at least one of them. One, if one drive is disk problem, another drive is PCB board problem, we may swap the board to rescue one of them. 2. If both are PCB board problem, we may fix one drive PCB board. 3. If both are disk problem, then we have to do the disk data recovery. Tips. The obvious evidence of bad PCB board is the hard drive no spin. You can see burn mark on the PCB board. You can smell the burn on the PCB board. The computer experienced power surge, but uh, the clicking sound or the hard drive spin nicely, but the computer cannot detect it. This kind of problem can be caused by bad disk or PCB board. The most common way to test if it is the disk problem or the PCB board problem is to swap the PCB board. The rest of this video, we are going to continue to talk about how to swap the PCB board to rescue a hard drive. Swapping the hard drive PCB board includes two parts. One, find the correct donor board. Two, PCB board firmware transfer. How to find the donor PCB board? We use the hard drive model number and the PCB board number as reference to search for the correct donor PCB board. Locate the model number of the hard drive. All the Seagate hard drive model numbers start from ST. This picture shows where to find the PCB board number on the PCB board. Different hard drives, different PCB boards. The PCB board locations are different. 
if you cannot find the location of your hard drive PCB board number, you may go to hdd-parts.com, input the model number of the hard drive, and then take a look at the picture. The picture will show you the PCB board number, the location. You may go to www.hdd-parts.com in the search box, input the board number, and then click on Go. The correct donor board is found. PCB board from a transfer. PCB board from a transfer is to transfer the PCB board firmware from the original board to the donor board. What is the PCB board firmware and why do we have to transfer the firmware before swapping the PCB board? 1. One hard drive PCB board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. 2. The firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. 3. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So, we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original, even it is bad, board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. We want to mention three things regarding the hard drive PCB board from a transfer. 1. PCB board from a transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrade. The PCB board from a transfer is to transfer the PCB board firmware from one board to another board. Hard drive firmware upgrade is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware it nothing to do with another hard drive or another PCB board. 2. We can do the PCB board from a transfer from the physically damaged PCB board, like burned, watered, or other kind of damage. Our PCB board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. 3. We do the PCB board firmware transfer for our clients for free. This picture illustrated how the PCB board firmware transfer works. On the left hand side is the burned PCB board. On the right hand side is a good donor PCB board. We transfer the firmware from the bad original PCB board to the good donor PCB board. We receive many questions regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware, also called hard drive PCB board bias, and the hard drive PCB board compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. Some PCB boards BIOS are in the independent memory chip like the first picture shows. Some PCB boards BIOS are integrated into the main IC, like the second picture shows. Most of the modern hard drives PCB boards need to do the BIOS transfer before swapping the PCB board. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware we have to transfer the BIOS from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. The third picture shows some of these PCB boards. But there are some hard drive PCB boards do not need the BIOS transfer. As long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards, you can swap the boards directly. The fourth picture shows some of this kind of boards. If you have any questions such as how to find a donor board, if your board need to do the bias transfer, where is the bias of your PCB board? how to swap your PCB board. 
please go to www.hdd-parts.com to check it out. Or you may take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB board and email to us. We will give you the correct answer. This picture shows the procedure how we do data recovery for our clients. First, the client send their hard drive to us. Second, we do data recovery. Third, we ship back the data to our clients. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.